Moth stands for movement of the heart, and it started out as moth aerial dance because there was already circus in Vermont, and I wanted to stand out, and being a dancer, it made sense. Learning more and more about the aerial dance world, it didn't seem fitting to what I really wanted to do as an artist, so when I moved to Colorado, I already had the idea to change my name to Moth Poetic Circus with the idea that the way we move is poetic. The bulk of what Moth does here is train professionals or aspiring professionals. I'm in the professional training program here at Moth. I'm here specifically to fill in the gaps in my training, including tumbling, dance, physical acting, partnering, um, just general floor acrobatics so that I don't come out as a one-trick pony. You start out really easy and everybody's really nice and helps you and they don't tell you that you're really bad and you just work up. We did a lot of trying different apparatuses as some people here hadn't had as much experience on certain things. And then now that we're in creation mode, we're putting together the show, it's going to be amazing and it really is sort of an ensemble thing so that there's no one star, everyone has their own moments. And that's what I really like about Circus and Moth. Everyone supports everyone, and I love that. Moth stands for Movement of the Heart, and our professional training programs focus on the artistry and not just the skill. So you come out of here understanding who you are, at least who you want to be as an artist, and not just an athlete or just somebody who can do skills. Moth's professional training program is a nine-month program. They learn all different apparatus, conditioning, uh, contortion, hand balancing, acrobatics, ballet, modern dance, clowning, character work. We also have a specialty in Chinese pole and tight wire. So we run the whole gamut of what circus is and can be here. I tried a few other studios in Denver as well, but coming here, I just really vibed well with Dina. Her sort of mindset and everything that she wanted to have and produce, I really was attracted to that. She really can see things in you that you might not be able to see in yourself. And she's really driven to take those things out of you and make you the best of whatever you want to be, and definitely not for her own reputation. She wants you to be amazing for you, and she wants you to follow your dreams because it's what you want to do, and I love that. I've been parts of teams where people say they're families, but there are actually little political factions within. We don't have that here. By seeing each other's vulnerabilities and flaws, we're better able to love each other and reach out and be a bond. That's what really drew me to Circus in the first place, is how it's a family and everyone is a community to support each other, to make everyone their best without the sort of goal or intent of outshining anyone else. Our community outreach program is geared towards bringing underprivileged youth into this setting where they normally wouldn't be able to. We just had our first annual fundraising party where we raised $11,000 to go towards bringing underprivileged children into our professional training programs for the year tuition free. We can not only bring kids into our programs, but send teachers out into the community and reach as many kids as we possibly can and share our joy and our love of the circus arts. I keep coming back to movement of the heart because I love this so much, my students love this so much, so why not bring it out there to people that wouldn't normally know about it and really just share the passion and the joy that I've been blessed and, and lucky to have in my life. It's been so amazing being able to come in here knowing that this is a safe, really positive environment for creating and growth. It's been really helpful and just really amazing and I couldn't have asked for a better place to sort of be at this point in my life. It's a really fun place and you're going to learn a lot. No matter what kind of day you're having, you just get cheered up by everybody around you. It's a really good place. I definitely recommend it. So if you come in without any circus experience, you have a lot of opportunities to try different disciplines. And if you already have a lot of skills, then this is definitely a great place to go because not just learning technically skills, but also really bringing out some of the maybe potentially forgotten sides of circus, which are more in that emotive performance as opposed to just a display of high-level tricks. So I feel like it really caters to everyone and whatever you want, you can really find it here. There's no restriction for circus. Um, anyone can enjoy it. Anyone can learn something in circus, no matter how old they are. I just want everyone to see how much fun we have here and that we enjoy everything that we do.